we've made and tasted a lot of cookies, but today may take the cake, or cookie, that is, because we are turning ourselves <laughs> into cookies shaped like potatoes. What? Like us. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> so joining us is Gloriana Tenney, the creator of Gigi's Cookie Company, and you turned us into potatoes in honor of Kenny Wood's Potato Smash bumper cars. Yes. You're going to show us how you did it. I have to say it's amazing. Like, they <laughs> were so you. impressive. And we have Thank samples you. of them right here. Yes, yeah. So walk us through uh, exactly what you did here. Is it difficult? So, I mean, yes. Honestly, it's... <laughs> it looks incredibly challenging. It's a lot of practice yeah. um, over multiple years um, and tools and just things you learn. But there's definitely a lot of steps that go into it. Um, oh, each, look, me. <laughs> each cookie actually takes, like, about 20 minutes and that's not including like the time in between drying each step right. so you know it's definitely um, a labor of love <laughs> who it took takes longer to make Heather or okay me? Heather took an extra two minutes oh, oh two minutes yes and why because you of the hair? you were like 18 and she was 20 okay. so and here's David's cookie. <laughs> I actually kind of want to see the first ones you did like, I kind of want to see um, what we looked like in your first rendition <laughs> before we got to see the fancy cookies. <laughs> like, did I have a mustache? I don't know. I just want to oh see gosh, what it oh gosh. Like. <laughs> But these are really great. And today, you're actually going to show us how you made the other cookies, the Kenny Wood sign yes. cookies. Yes. So we have okay. the sugar cookie here. You perfected yes. the recipe for this. Yes, definitely. <laughs> so take your icing bag. I already cut the tip off for you guys. So it's okay. the, so you're take it, and you're just going to outline your cookie outline yes. oh, oh okay and one of the best things to do is a lot of people they tend to drag the icing you want to kind of let it fall into place and then uh. that, you'll get a much straighter line I have an extremely shaky hand oh. well that is what and I was going to ask because my hand is I, not, you must I shake be... pretty bad so you lift and it kind of let the icing fall where you want and then you tap down at your corners or That's your ends we didn't do it right we didn't do that. Oh, no, no, no. No. <laughs> no. Look, this oh, is what she did. See, this is why That's you what she do this meant. for a not, wedding. Not this is this. like, yeah, not no. This. Ours look like, like spaghetti <laughs> oh, that's gone wrong. Hey, it takes, it takes practice. All right. get there. All right, next All right, step. Next, next, step. Step. next icing bag I have that's also cut open for you. Oh, okay. And you're just going to go ahead and flood. Oh, flood. Around. A flood. I mean, I can't. I don't know if I can make it any worse here. So we'll just <laughs> flood it as much. Now, is this the part where you kind of tap it down so it settles? Yes, you can tap it down, and then you can also use the cookie scribe, or some people call it a, a boo boo stick. And this you can use the flat end, or you can use the point. So you can use that point to get the icing into all the little nooks and crannies. I okay. just don't know. How's yours looking? Uh, not good. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that this. We're going to call here's, this a prototype because this the, is not like. The one true benefit is that we get to eat it and it's going to taste great no matter what it looks like, which yes. is great. All right, so as we're doing this, tell us about your business because you've been doing this eight years now. Yes. And, and you work out of uh, your home, but you, you yep. fill orders for people. Yes, I do. I, um, I've been decorating cookies ever since I was little. My mom actually started the tradition of every holiday. We would do like your most basic, simple, sure cookies that you, know, you do with your mom. Um, and then I had kids of my own. And they decided they, they wanted fancy cookies. So yeah. eight years ago, nine years ago, I decided to make some fancy cookies for my son's first birthday. They turned out really, really good. And um, ever since, everyone was like, you should do this for a business. And I'm like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. That's what and launched honestly, it all. Honestly, the support of my family is what got me to where I am today because um, they're just absolutely incredible uh, with everything. and. They really pushed me and believed in me, which really helped. Oh, I love to hear that. We have such supportive messages today. I love the positive stuff that's coming through. All right, we're just going to wrap We've this up. We've jumped because... ahead a little bit to try to write. Oh, boy. Like, I... Come on down to Ken... <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, I think it's... it's a, well, it's Ken... Ken... Ken de Wu, I Ken... think is what mine says. <laughs> Ken de Wu. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Should I just write, I'm with this guy? <laughs> there you go, there you go. This is great. Thank you so much. And people can contact you if they want to put their own yes. orders in. Maybe you don't want to be potato fied, but maybe you want something else. Maybe you know what? Else. Here's what we're missing. The bite. Yeah. I know. I want to bite off mm. your head. Can I bite what? your head off? You can't bite my head off. How about your hand? Okay, you can bite my hand okay. off. All right. Up next.